Antoine the Ant lived on the surface of a great work of art, a huge painting full of colour and light. He was so small that the textures of the oil paint seemed to Antoine to be hills and valleys. Antoine studied hard becoming an excellent scientist. After several years he discovered that the hills and valleys around him were made of particles of minerals called pigment which gave the land its wonderful colours. It was also mixed with linseed oil which bound it all together. Antoine was so clever he put forward a theory that their world may be a collection of many other similar worlds. He seemed to have all the answers to the world and the universe. One day, Antoine had a visitor, Francois the Flying Ant. I am here to tell you that you were correct in thinking that this world is a part of a collection of other worlds. In fact, this world is part of a gallery of worlds. A few days later, another flying ant arrived. Hello Antoine, my name is Florence. You are correct in all that you say, but you need to know that your world is in fact a priceless work of art. From afar, you can see that the hills and valleys of pigment and linseed oil make the most wonderful image of water and life. Hmm, I've studied for years. I can't believe this. Do you have any evidence? Florence was taken aback by his lack of trust. I have no such evidence for you, but why would I lie to you? Where have you come from? Actually, I have just flown from the studio of the artist who created your world and many others too. He is the most gifted artist and it is a real honour to see his work, said Florence Beaming. You are nothing but a liar. Now get out! Florence was crestfallen. I am sorry you don't believe what is clearly apparent to me. Florence stayed calm and replied, The art has created your world out of love. It is with the same act of love that I came to you today, to share the good news. Although you do not believe me, that love will not change. I must return now and I hope one day we can meet again as friends. With that, Florence flew away and out of sight. Antoine had stood his ground and won his argument. He was very pleased with himself. With all his success, Antoine would go the rest of his life never realising the truth of Florence's words. The beauty of the painting of the water lilies which surrounded him and the great gift of creation that had brought about his world by the hand of Claude Monet.